Hey guys, it's me, and I thought I would show a little educational piece in today's little daily vlog for my video every day April. Um, I ordered some batteries for this. This is just a standard home phone, kind of a cool one uh, that has extensions. And I had an extension phone that uh, uses a different battery than this one that was totally, completely dead. And this one, the battery here, is a few years old. It's been sitting around not being charged. I haven't used a home phone for a few years, but I did pick up a UMA so that I wouldn't use cell phone minutes during the day, uh, which I've been using more of as of late just with circumstances. So that being said, I had this one and as long as I was ordering the others, these are cheap batteries. I want to say, you know, like four, six, seven bucks. I don't even know for two of them shipped everything you know all that kind of stuff from eBay and so I have the existing battery and then these also have a higher capacity they are um, 1500 milliamp hours and this was in 980 which I think that matches what the initial OEM was but anyway I ordered these two and one of them was defective so I was making a video to shoot to send the seller to show that I'm not just trying to get a free battery and I thought I would share how to do that with you guys. So what I've got is a uh, multimeter. This is actually, um, which you can't see there because I've got it out of the focus, but it's uh, like a clamp style one, which I've used for car repair stuff. And you just set it to a setting that is close to what you're looking for. So these are 3.7 volts. I've got this set on 20. Um, if you don't know, you just set things until you find one that starts showing readings, basically. If you don't know what you're doing. But if you do, you probably think my explanation sucks and you probably don't need this video. So we'll just go with that. So these are, this old battery is 4.09, which is fine because we're looking for like 3.7-ish. This is 4.06. I'm reading that upside down, so hopefully that's fine. And this one is going to register nothing, not a, it's not passing current. So that's why that one's bad. Anyway, I thought I would share that little tidbit with you in case you didn't know. Uh, there are cheaper ones, like a lot of times with, I believe with Harbor Freight, which is where I got this, the really cheap ones are normally like $9.99 or $6.99 or whatever. And then they'll run coupons where you get it free if you're spending a couple bucks or you can get it for like two bucks or I don't know. Way cheap though. So don't spend a ton of money on it if you're just you know using it for simple things and you can get the other one, which I do have one of those somewhere around the house that I think I got for free with something, but this is the one I found first, so it's the one I grabbed. Anyway, that's how you do it. Hope you learned something new.